Hi, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over using uh, specifically the collage feature in Picnic, which is one of my favorite web-based image editors. So it's Picnic, P-I-C-N-I-K dot com. It's a free web-based image editor. So I'm already logged in here to Picnic, and I just want to kind of give you a rundown of the interface. So I've got a home page here, and I can go ahead and upload photos to work on things, but I'm going to jump over to my library first. And I just wanted to point some stuff out to you. Um, you can upload and work with images that are off of your computer, but you can also work with them if you use some of the popular file sharing sites like Picasa or Flickr. So at the moment, I see a few photos that are in my Picasa web albums. I also have Picnic linked over to my Flickr account, so I can see pictures that I um, have put into Flickr. So last night, my girlfriend and I went to Roller Derby for the first time, which was pretty cool, and took some pictures and uploaded those to Flickr last night. So now those pictures are available through my Flickr account. So I'm going to make a collage using some of these recent Roller Derby pictures from Flickr. Back over onto the, uh, the Home tab here, I'm going to jump over to their Collage tool. And down here at the bottom, I have my photo basket. And currently, it's it's displaying pictures that are from my computer. And if I wanted to get more pictures off my computer, I'd simply go to Upload Photos. And I could search for those pictures and bring them into the photo basket. Easy to work with. But the photos that I want to work with aren't on my computer. So I'm going to have to connect over to Flickr, which is pretty fast. And there we go. So there are the roller derby pictures that I want to mess with. And I'm also in the collage settings. So let me kind of drag this down a little bit so you see a few more of the collage options. So there's some basic collage options, which you get if you even have a free picnic account. But notice there's also some premium ones here and even more premium ones. So if you pay a little bit extra, you do get access to more default layouts and things like that. So a bunch of different choices on here. I'm going to go ahead and pick, um, I'll pick one of these premium jigsaw layouts. So now that I've got a, uh, a layout chosen, let me resize here a bit. Okay, there's the layout I'm going to go for. And now it's simply a matter of taking photos from my photo basket and dragging them up to where I want them in the uh, collage. So let's see, I'll just go ahead and uh, I'll grab a couple of photos here. Just pop those right on. And let's see if I have some that are more portrait orientation. Okay, put that one there. And that one up there. So now I have kind of a mixture of photos. Now once your photos are in the collage space, you do have a little bit of uh, ability to work with them. So I see in this particular photo here in the lower right, um, their heads are chopped off, so I can just kind of move that down a little bit. And same with this one, I can move this down a little bit. And let's see, I kind of like the alignment there, so that's pretty good. And I think that one looks pretty good too. Okay, so those are some basic options. Now a couple other things we can do. In between the photos of the collage, there is by default this dark gray border, which I'm not a big fan of. So I can click on this and I can choose a different color. I can give it a white border. And I can also affect the thickness of that border using the spacing slider in between the images. See, proportions, if I drag this out, it'll make this whole collage a little bit wider. So I can do this. But of course, that starts to affect some of my image placement, so I might have to adjust a few things. There we go. So I've got some adjustments there made. And notice there's also a kookiness tool, which will start to uh, swivel your photos. And that can look kind of neat. There we go. Roundedness, just what it sounds like. Puts a little curve to the corners. OK, and I'm actually pretty happy with my collage. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the Done option. Actually, let me change it over to Higher Quality. And then I'll click the Done option. And now I have a photo to work with. And you can work with this photo in the same way that you might work with any other photo that you import into Picnic. And once I'm satisfied with my overall collage, I can head over to Save and Share. And this gives me options to, of course, save it to my computer. And I'll go ahead and try this. I'll go ahead and call this uh, Roller Derby Collage. And I'll give it some more appropriate widths. How about just uh, 800 proportionate 590. I'll save it as a JPEG to my computer. For now, I'll just save over the desktop. 
There we go. And if I also want to get this back on my Flickr account, easy enough, I can just head over to, um, up on, I'm currently it's saved to my computer, I can jump over to Flickr, and I'll give this a better title. How about Cinder Kittens of Bend versus Maidens of Mayhem Spokane. And let's see, I'll just leave everything else as the default. And I'll make this public and save photo. And now this image will be added to my Flickr. Okay, so that's using the collage tool in Picnic.